you guys can be my wingman. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the show. I'm so excited right now. All right, I know we usually stick with horror movies, but I do not discriminate. I like badass movies. All right, so tonight we're going to talk about uh, Top Gun. Fuck yeah. All right, before we get started, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up. Comment on the video. That helps us grow. We need your help to grow. We need to grow to continue to make these lovely videos for you guys. Um, yeah, man. I just watched Top Gun in 4K with the surround sound with the wife. Ooh, buddy, that shit was awesome. Um, let's see here. I don't remember what I was going to tell y'all. I had something else in my head that I was going to say, and I cannot remember it because I'm too fucking excited about Top Gun. All right, so Top Gun it was directed by Tony Scott. It stars Tom Cruise, uh, Val Kilmer, Kelly McGillis, Anthony Edwards, and Tom Skerritt. It was released on May 16th, 1986. Runtime is 110 minutes. Had a, get this shit, dude. Had a budget of $15 million. And it brought in a box office fucking just shitload of $357 million. And I don't know if that includes like Blu-ray and DVD and VHS sales. But, uh, shit. That's a lot of money. That's about 20 times what you put in, almost. Or actually, I think it, yeah, it's... 20 something times actually um and for those of you that are not familiar with top gun okay i'll give you a little quick rundown of the movie and then we'll discuss uh the 4k what comes with it the packaging uh what i thought about the movie etc etc i'll try to keep the video still within a 10 minute uh 10 minute mark i don't want to keep you guys on here for you know 20 minutes about a movie that some of you guys uh already know is fucking amazing so um, okay, the Top Gun Naval Fighter Weapons School is where the best of the best train to refine their elite flying skills. When hotshot fighter pilot Maverick, played by Tom Cruise, uh, is sent to the school, his reckless attitude and cocky demeanor put him at odds with the other pilots, especially the cool and collected Iceman by Val Kilmer. All right, uh, but, Maverick's, but Maverick isn't only competing to be the top fighter pilot, he's also fighting for the attention of his beautiful flight instructor, Charlotte Blackwood, played by Kelly McGillis. Um, yeah, man. So, Top Gun is badass, okay? So, I watched this, and I don't think I ever saw this in the theaters. I was, in 86, I was only four. So, um, but I was telling my wife, I don't think it's ever looked this good. Um, we watched the 4K version, and so, first and foremost, the movie itself. Dude, it's Tony Scott. It was directed extremely well, all right? The music in it is is kind of dated, okay? All right? 80s were notorious for that stuff. They put music in there that wasn't going to uh, hold its own through next generations and generations, but that's something that people... Honestly, people kind of like it because you can hear the movie and go, okay, that's an 80s movie. Um, but it's got Tom Cruise, Kelly McGinnis. It's even got uh, Meg Ryan in it for a little bit. Um, Val Kilmer. Come on, man. These are top-notch actors so the acting in the movie is fantastic the script's pretty great uh some cheesy one-liners but dude come on who doesn't love cheesy one-liners all right so uh so we got directing top-notch acting top-notch cinematography was fucking awesome because you had uh you know planes doing stunts and everything all over the place so this movie was great all right on a scale of one to ten as far as you grading top gun we're looking at like an 8.5 here we're looking at top-notch dude top gun is top-notch so um I really, really liked it. Now, as far as the, uh, as far as the 4K, what did I get out of the 4K? There are some scenes in this that are really grainy, but I think that's something that they can't avoid on some of these older movies because of the film. That being said, this movie was sharp. All right, it looked awesome, man. It was so nice to watch this movie and have it look something that was, what is this, 86? So that's. I'm 38, so it's 34 years old, and it looks like you could have, if I didn't know this was 34 years old, if their hair wasn't, you know, obviously an older generation hairstyle, and the music wasn't dated, and you updated the hair and the music in this movie, and told me, oh yeah, it came out in 2010, I would absolutely believe you, because it looks amazing. Um, I don't have 7.1, but it does have a Dolby Atmos track on here. I do have 5.1, and it sounded fucking awesome awesome dude you can hear the planes coming from all over the place it was badass i cannot wait 
to watch uh, Black Hawk Down with this new with the new sound sound system I have in here. Um, pardon me, I'm sorry about that, guys. Uh, so yeah, on the 4K it comes with well, at least the one I got has a has a has a slip cover. You know, it comes in the nice black 4K. I don't like that they put this kind of shit on here. Uh, I don't like that. I want my packaging to look sleeker than that. Um, if they have to have it on the slip cover, I, I guess because I don't really like these anyways. Um, but don't put it on the actual artwork, man. That shit is tacky as fuck looking, dude. Um, it's got HDR, which is cool. I don't. Your TV has to have that capability, but um, the 4K itself looks amazing sounds amazing but it doesn't have any of the special features on it and I, I found that to be kind of a bummer i was going to look at some of the special features after i watched the movie and they weren't on there they're only on the blu-ray disc but on that disc which comes with this so it's not that big a deal uh you've got the legacy of top gun you've got on your six 30 years of top gun danger zone the making of top gun a six-part documentary commentary by filmmakers and naval experts uh, Tom Cruise interviews, multi-angle storyboards, best of the best inside the real Top Gun, and then behind the scenes featurette, survival training featurette, and more other than that. So, I mean, it's got a lot of special features, but it's all on the Blu-ray. So, overall, on that presentation, I give it like a like a 7.5, because this shit here is just awful looking, man. I hate it. Um, and then 4K, you know, package, the whole, the whole package, I say like a like a, like a 7.5 because the disc itself is phenomenal and it looks amazing and it sounds amazing but I don't like those special features around the other disc overall though this whole package deal is st sticking with 8.5 to me man because the movie is great so when you get a great movie that looks and sounds really really good the other stuff it's stuff I can deal with so I highly recommend anybody go uh, check this one out man if you're a if you're a Tom Cruise fan uh, or if you're a Top Gun fan and you got the capabilities, you got a 4K TV and a nice sound system, dude, you gotta check this out. And that being said, with that being said, they gave me a 4K digital copy with this, and I'm gonna give that to you guys. I'm sure you knew that was coming. Uh, I try to do it as often as I can with this stuff. Um, so in order to be qualified for that, you have to be subscribed to the channel, thumbs up on the video, and comment on the video do those three things if you don't like the video and you win i won't give you the code i need you to like the video and comment on it um because that's what i'm trying i'm trying to use this to help grow the channel and uh also to say thank you to you guys for being my motherfucking top gun fans for being uh fans of the channel and, and for helping me out and helping me have a good time so um but yeah i mean top gun was awesome dude it looked so good i was i was, man, it was such a great time such a great time i will say this bro in the 80s, PG movies had a lot of cursing. This shit is crazy. This is the second movie that I've watched recently that was from the 80s that had a ton of curse words in it. Just let y'all know. Um, so, we are climbing closer to the 750 subscriber mark. So don't forget, when we get there, we have a... I don't know where it's at right now. I'll put it away. I have an 8x10 uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show, excuse me, uh, signed picture... And when we hit 1,000, I have the Terrifier VHS made, one of only 150 made. So i got some good giveaways coming really soon if you guys can help me reach that uh, 750 and 1,000 subscriber mark. Uh, also, just a couple of things before I let you guys go. Um, I will be doing the next couple of days. i got some things coming. i got a Clove Hitch Killer uh, review. I heard this was really good. I don't know. I'm about to watch it in a few minutes. Uh, with a special giveaway. I got a special giveaway on the Clove Hitch Killer review. And I'm also going to review a movie called Pontypool that is really hard to find. Um, and then I'm also going to finally get around to re-watching and reviewing Terrifier. Um, so anybody out there that likes Terrifier, help me out, man. S send send Damien Leone a message on Instagram or Facebook and tell him he needs to jump on my podcast with me. Uh, I'm going to send him a message. I don't know. He might do it. He seems like a pretty cool guy. So, uh... Yeah, that's that. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you had a great night. I hope you're having a great week. This is the Shop 31. I'm Randall. You guys are the shit. Till next time. Peace.